Today, we're going to take a look at putting 1986 and newer independent front suspension wheels onto a 1985 and earlier solid axle truck. Some of you Toyota savvy folk might say, hey, those are IFS wheels, which are 86 and up. Those wheels are from an IFS truck and you've got them mounted on a solid axle truck. How did you do that? Well, I'll come here and I'll show you. The 84 and 85 trucks were solid axle and in 86 when they converted, when they went to the uh, independent front suspension, that added some width. Now this particular truck is solid axle and it does have a front widening kit. Uh, I believe it's a sky widening kit which adds inch and a half to each front wheel. So that is why if you look, this is just a little bit more than flush with the edge of the fender. Now on the back, this particular truck has a rear axle from a 1988, which is also, uh, well, it's a, it's a total of three inches wider than the stock 84 to 85 rear axle. So if you look at that, coming up past the fender just a little bit with these tires. And uh, I think it looks really good, especially with these IFS wheels. Now you could not put these IFS wheels onto a solid axle truck that was not modified in this way. Uh, I believe it's the fronts that don't work. The rears would work, obviously they would be you know, sunk in farther, but it's the fronts that will hit the inside of the knuckle there just because you don't have that extra inch and a half. So this does look good. I'm happy with it. Uh, I wanna share with you guys how I went about doing this. I didn't widen the truck and just to put these wheels on, uh, the truck was actually already that way when I bought it. And then I bought these wheels uh, for a hundred bucks off Craigslist because I didn't want to drive a hundred miles a day on, uh, well, on these tires. I had them on steel wheels at the time, but I got tired of putting a hundred miles a day on these tires. Plus I picked up a couple miles a gallon when I started running on these uh, 33 by 10 and a half all trains. That's it for today. If you have any questions, hit me up in the comments and I'll be glad to answer them for you.